So yes, I want to start this video off by uh, explaining that this will be going over constant tags um, and the use of constant tags as far as uh, helping you have somewhere that you, you can change stuff but have it where it's I kind of isolated from the, the first glance of not being not being able to be changed. This again will be going through using uh, Emulator 5000 and I'll begin to make the program right now. Uh, once the program is made, uh, make a new program and call it con constant tags. And so primarily, and first off, we want to go ahead and make a JSR to that, that routine. So JSR down to constant tags. They open up constant tags and primarily like say for instance in the past what we've done is say we have a timer and I'll make a timer real quick. And for that timer we have a preset. So say that that preset we just want to throw it in there as 500 and say for instance we just threw it in as a, a free running timer at, at this point so a free running timer and we just put a done bit in front of it so it would constantly run now what we've done in the past is we said okay to lock that preset at you know 500 we said okay well we're going to go ahead and uh, do like a compare so we'll, we'll compare the two and we'll say if not equal to if the preset is not equal to 500 so then you want to uh, move 500 into the preset So this this will make it where you cannot change it because anytime it changes, it writes it right back into it. And I'll show you that real quick. So we'll download it. Slot one. Click download. Go to run mode. Okay, so now if I came in here and tried to change this preset to 750 I can't it, it constantly goes back now that's primarily the way we used to do things um, with the new versions and stuff like that you don't have to I mean you can still do this so I guess what I want to kind of bring up is <clears throat> there's a better way of doing this so if we delete this room right here And we said we want to add a ROM. Then we want to keep the move. But then we want to say, so timer one preset. And then what we'll do is we'll make this what they call a constant tag. And then we'll create it. And then we'll come, we'll still drag this down in and have it fill the preset. But at this point, if I go to edit, I can't edit that tag. I have to go to monitor tags and then enter it there. So let's just put it at a different value just to show you that it works. And then we'll simply just click that. Okay, so as soon as we assemble everything, so now the same effect. I don't have anything. I, and when I go right here and I try to click it and change it, I can't because that's a constant tag. So if I go to edit it, if I were to unclick this, 
then that would not be a constant tag anymore. Now I can change it. So you see? But if I make that a constant tag, that I cannot change that. I am unable to change that right here. I have to I am forced to go to the monitor tag and then change it in that area. Now generally speaking, this is something that a lot of people don't know. Um, and you can use that for a lot of things. So you can throw in the uh, like for instance, I use it a lot for our servo attributes and stuff like that is I use a constant tag. So if I want a speed, I don't want the speed to be changed or I don't want you know, I want a certain thing to be loaded in there, then I use a constant. Or if I want something to stay the same, I, I use a constant tag. Now the thing about constant tags is I cannot write into them. I can't like put another move in here. Say for instance, just copy, paste. I can't just move a set value into it. It will not allow me to do that. And the reason is, is it's right down here it says the routine cannot write to a constant tag. So that's the downfall to using it, but it realistically it's not a downfall. If you look at it, you, you want this to be a constant. You don't want it to be changed, so you want somebody to be forced to go to the monitor tag section in the tag at, or in the tags for the the processor that you're using and you want to be able to you know change it in there so you're kind of forcing them at that point and you can you can check this in over here as well so and just note that you cannot throw a timer uh, you can't throw a timer as a, a constant. So there's some instructions and stuff like that. You can't do that. So it's mainly for like tags and um, like reels, floats, uh, stuff like that. Um, and another another good trick that they have on these uh, newer versions is you can lock the controller. So if you lock the controller, that nobody else, like if somebody has the same program open, you're the only person that can edit. So you're the only person that can edit and do anything. Um, if they were to try to do that, it would say to this person, another person has this controller locked. And when you, you know, they would have to actually wait till you unlocked it to be able to, you know, make an edit. So uh, real quick, I just wanted to explain and show the, the, the how a constant tag is used. And you know, just and this is the simplest form you could possibly use it. So you can kind of imagine how you could use it. Um, but I wanted to show the definition of a constant tag versus a standard tag, and where you had to go to change it if you had to. So you see this. This indicates that it's a constant tag. And also right here, you can check it, uncheck it. Um, that just basically shows you exactly what, what I'm kind of getting at is you cannot change it right here. So if anybody tried to change it, they cannot. So a lot of times if, if somebody's not familiar with that, that I kind of deter them from making a change to a processor. Um, if a program has been running for quite some time, generally speaking, if something happens, um, then there hadn't been edits and, and edits going on it's probably not most likely not the program's fault so we like to use controller or um, we like to use constant tags to keep that kind of in check if you would so you, you can use that to say okay well if somebody's not familiar enough with programming and they don't know what's going on you can use that and that kind of but will deter them from actually changing something um, instead of having well I mean you can still come in and write the the same thing uh, you know the the, uh, <clears throat> the not equal to and then write it in but honestly they can just edit it and just come in here and, and uh, uh, you know change the uh, that change that whole wrong to represent something else so you really want to kind of restrain this and, and keep it from uh, um, not having so many edits done 
and that's the real reason we use constant tags. So it's to keep really to keep the program honest and to keep people that's using it honest, and to know that okay, so if somebody purposely made this as a constant tag, they want it to be that way for a set reason. And it again, if there's no program or if there's no not haven't been a lot of edits to a program, there's no reason to edit the program. Uh, generally speaking, if something's going wrong, it's probably a hardware failure, or it's probably something uh, related to you know what's going on with the machine or their uh, thereof. You know, I mean, generally speaking, unless there's been a, a lot of heavy edits, it's not something that should be played with. Now, not to say you can't change it, but you need to have a base understanding of what the constant tag is and why we use them. So if you do happen to see that that mark, that blue uh, circle with a line through it, that means it's a constant tag and you cannot change it at that location. You have to go to the tag database and then change it in the tag database. So I hope that gave a clarification of two things. I hope it gave a clarification on locking the controller and why you do that. So if you want to be the only person editing it, you editing that program, you lock the controller and nobody else can edit the program at the same time you are. And then secondly, I want to, to show that the, uh, uh, the use of a constant tag and what it is used for and then how to use it. So the understanding of, of what constant tags are, um, the power of them, um, you know, you can use them for a number of things. Um, I use them, if I use one constant tag, I probably use a hundred, um, but I use them, you know, pretty frequently and I use them, like I said, it's, it's a, a good handy tool that you can use. So, um, I hope this was, uh, informative and I hope it helps you. So, uh, just let me know, leave a comment below and, uh, we'll have more videos to come.